Tonight, I've got a date with the person I've been bubbled with for the whole of lockdown. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that his alias, for security reasons, is Adam. So I'm going to his tonight, so I thought I would take you along with me on my Friday and get ready. So we're going to be turning from this into something a little bit better, I hope. Um, but I thought I would include, like, I just, I, I'm about to do my nails. Also, I do have a, sh a potential shoot on Monday and Tuesday, so, like, getting my body as much ready for this evening. Not my body, but, you know, everything. Yeah, so join me on my Friday to get ready with me for date night. By the way, this is going to be my first vlog, so let me know if I'm doing it right. <laughs> so if you don't follow me on Instagram, I just wanted to bring you up to speed with mine and Adam's status. So we met, I think, April 25th. We had a first date. We went for a dog walk. Um, was that in the middle of, I feel like that was in tier three. And then since then we've done two lockdowns together and it's now April, which is crazy when I think about it. We haven't even seen how each other acts around like waiters or anything. So it's been intense, but interesting. And I just wonder how things will or won't change once London opens up again. I'm just taking my stone nail polish off now and I think I'm gonna go with this Essie color, which I got this week called Topless and Barefoot. I was doing some, I just love nudes on nails. I'm wearing ballet slippers right now, which apparently, apparently is the, um, is Queen Elizabeth's go-to color. Quite cool. To be totally honest, I feel like Adam's been a little bit quiet this week and not like pulling away, but I'm just getting vibes, you know? I've never been like seeing somebody for five months without a status, but I think that's just dictated by lockdown. Do you know when you just get those vibes? So I'm not gonna text him today. I'm gonna wait for him to text me. So it's like, I was kind of like blowing up his phone a little bit yesterday. So I think I just need to like pull back a little bit, see how he responds. My little getting ready station. I've got my ring light there in case I do any filming. This ottoman is amazing. I've got all my hair stuff in there. And I actually, until yesterday, had loads of makeup bits out on the side. This might still look like a lot, but I've emptied this drawers and I've put loads of makeup bits in here, which I need to reorganize and clean and everything. But this just looks so much more zen than it did a couple of days ago. I'm actually gonna wipe my teeth, which isn't my usual thing to do, but I was like, we got the time. These are from my dentist. Um, they just um, make these little molds of your teeth and then also give me bleach. And I'm gonna put it in my mouth for four hours. So I need to chug some water now because you're not supposed to drink or eat with them in because it like the water could get in and dilute the bleach or something. You kind of have to like inject the where the it's gonna where it's gonna sit flush against the teeth. And so just a little dab, but I did it too much last time. And you don't wanna put too much bleach on because I had to like squirt out the edges and it went onto my gums and I got Bleached, burnt gums. I honestly hate having them in now. I find it so boring. And the fact I can't drink water for four hours. Like, I'm not the biggest water drinker, but when you tell me I can't drink for four hours, I really want to drink for four hours. Just deciding what to wear, and obviously I'm gonna include you in the process, but like, we're gonna start worrying about, why is it so blue in here? Hey, that's better. We're gonna start worrying about what we want to wear to stuff. Good problem to have, guys. Good problem to have. <laughs> oh, God. Um, so, yeah, I was thinking of something simple. I've just checked the forecast, and it's saying rainy all this afternoon, rainy this evening, rainy tomorrow morning, and I'll probably be staying over. 
I was thinking just something like weather appropriate and just chilled, but like with really nice hair and makeup. So I did have this like sexy low cut top, but A, you've seen me in that before. B, it like, it just smells a bit, it needs a wash to be honest. And then my jeans, my black jeans, my new black jeans from my jeans haul, I will link it up here. I think I'm doing that right. Oh, I can't never remember which side the cards go on. I'm, I'm gonna go for this side. I'm gonna link it out up here. And then I need a top to wear with them. So I was thinking. I've got this m and crew neck top, which is like really tight, which will show sweat patches. And I will be nervous five months in, but I still do get nervous. But I feel that could be just, I just love a top and a t-shirt and jeans. Or, um, well, and then I've got this for tomorrow, which is a white, like a baggy H&M t-shirt. It's the one I always wear. I'll link everything I talk about in the video below anyway. Just like a t-shirt and jeans with some black biker boots. I was fully prepared to like go a little bit out as it's Friday night, but realistically thinking I need something that's going to be good in the rain and good for tomorrow. And I'm going to be comfortable in because comfort is always before style for me. And then I'm going to wear it with this Trent. It's the new one that I got. I did it in my H&M and Mango haul, which has been, I've just realised... I've just realised I can't hear myself properly because I've got those on and I've probably been shouting the whole time. I will link my video now to my H&M and Mango haul because that popped off. And I'm not surprised when I look this good. <laughs> mm, and look who's just texted me. Sometimes you just got to be a little bit aloof. Right, I'm out the shower glistening thanks to this Willida Citrus Nourishing Sorry, Willida Citrus Refreshing Body Oil Cares and Invigorates and it's all about natural skincare. This is made of glass. I love it. I've purchased it so many times now. I think this is my third or fourth bottle. Um, but I just love an oil after the shower and it smells like, yeah, just lemony and fresh and lovely and very invigorating. I'm just going to pop some deodorant on. And then the moisturiser I'm going to use is the Willida Skin Food, which I've nearly run out of, but fear not. I've got a backup uh, bottle next door this stuff it's the thickest moisturizer i've ever used like it is thick oh, you really have to squeeze it to get it out and you don't need too much it's like it's thick so if you are dry you will love it i'm a very oily person both my hair and my skin are very oily but i find that it's just so moisturizing so thick it's like it's kind of tacky it's so thick which i feel like really helps makeup go on and stay well and look so beautiful this part of the video is kindly sponsored by the tangle teaser scalp exfoliator and massager so i'm gonna show you and talk you through how to use this guy you've got two different types of teeth these teeth are really bendy in the middle here and these teeth at the side are a little bit more rigid. It combines beauty and wellness, and it's like hair care and self-care at the same time. There's a lot of texture on the material, which means it doesn't slip out your hands. Like, your hands can slip in really easily, but it's not going anywhere. And this also suits all hand sizes. It's got these unique teeth. Tangle teas are just the best with their teeth technology. Dandruff, flakiness, dryness, product buildup, it helps combat all of those. And then also massages, for wellness and relaxation in the shower. Don't you just love it when you go to a salon and you can get like a proper head massage? This is the closest thing that you can get to that in the shower by yourself. You move the tool against your scalp for up to three minutes. You can do it with or without shampoo or a scalp treatment. And it removes dead skin cells and product buildup that can really dullen the shine in our hair. It's different from other products on the market because of the unique teeth technology. Tangle Teaser just always nails it when it comes to the teeth. It's also got a very distinctive look and it comes in a few colors, but I do have a bit of a pink theme going on in my bathroom at the moment. And I just love the fact it's got this dual purpose of being hair care and self care. I do take really good care of my hair and I put like loads of oils on it, but I've rarely paid attention to anything going on at my scalp. Like I've never used a scalp exfoliator. I've never used any kind of like scalp treatments or anything like that. And healthy scalp, healthy hair, like our hair is dead. Our scalp is actually alive and we need to be focusing a lot more on that. My hair is oily. I have to wash my hair like every couple of days. So this makes me feel like I get a really 
deep proper cleanse you can use it before the shower on dry hair and it just helps to loosen any product or dry skin before you actually go into the shower i actually leave this in the shower so that i use it when i wash my hair when i have shampoo i can definitely feel such a difference and it's like um the circulation feels boosted to my scalp which I've heard before is great for your hair health. And these smaller teeth here down at the side, they are good for um, massaging pressure points. I love that the design is so easy to hold. I love that my scalp feels so invigorated and refreshed afterwards. And because I'm so oily, it feels properly cleaned rather than just like vigorously getting my hands in there. I actually have a dedicated tool now and I have to exfoliate my skin so much to keep it in decent-ish condition. And the fact that I've actually never been exfoliating my scalp before this does surprise me. You know, if it's like my birthday or anybody asks me what I want for a present, it's always 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 a massage so the fact that my scalp can have its very own little masseuse now is super cute so this is my new little guy that i keep in the shower and i will put a link below for you and everyone's gonna think i've totally lost it but one of my favorite tips is lying off the end of your bed and blow drying your hair i feel like it does such good things for volume and it's just way more comfortable it's like a real life hack Hair feels like oh, scalp almost like tingling it feels so fresh which is lovely feeling such a lovely feeling so I have a video on how to use the rise uh, from GHD it's just I found like a new way to do it in which I only curl at the ends and it gives it like this blowout look and I just do this all over my hair so like right now I'm curling in but on the next one I'll curl out just like this See, it looks weird but it will look good I would update you at the halfway mark. Trust the process, see, trust the process. And there we go. I'll play with it inevitably and it will drop out a little bit, but I prefer when it's dropped out because at the moment it's like a little bit too curled, um, but I like it when it's, there's just like a swoosh to the end. But I'm gonna spray it. And then you and I are gonna go for a little cocky. This whole section might need to be cut out if Tangle Tees is like, Obviously, we're not going to sponsor a video in which you're day drinking. <laughs> Cheers to the freaking weekend. I drink to that. Yeah, yeah. Last Friday in lockdown. Fingers crossed. Ooh, nice. Right, time for makeup. Okay, so last time I did my makeup, I did it really, really up close. So I thought I would do that again for you because you seem to really like it. But last time I was with all my Charlotte Tilby products. The video did really, really well. I will link it up somewhere here. And I'm going to be using a variety of my favourite products. Not sure what look I'm going for yet. Maybe just like a classically beautiful, polished but neutral kind of look. Let's start with Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless Finish Foundation in the colour Neutral 4 covers so well and it feels so light and the staying power is really good. This brush I saw Rosie Huntington Whiteley use and use a lot, so now I use it. Correcting with my favourite Bobbi Brown Intensive Skin Serum Corrector. This one's in the colour Light to Medium Bisque 3. Maybelline Age Instant Age A's. Maybelline Instant A. Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser Multi-Use Concealer. This is in the colour Light. I bought a new one of these because I love them so much. Everyone's like, don't use it from the little tippy thing. I love the little tippy thing. Everyone's like, yeah, but bacteria. I'm like, the day that I am concerned, oh, business. The day that I am concerned about bacteria from my face getting back onto my face, it's over. I'm gonna bronze the skin up with my Chanel Soleil de Tan de Chanel. Then the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder. I'm just gonna get that on a little Fenty brush. This is really good for getting 
in the in the cheekbone crevice and always feather up teeth look white definitely did the job earlier see it's a little a little bit more sculpt in there now just gonna do a bit more sculpting this time with arguably my favorite makeup brush ever it's the zoeva 228 Lux crease brush and it's this perfect dome shape that is fluffy um, and it's great for nose contouring, eye socket contouring, under the lip which is like the building, building out this shadow is arguably my favourite thing to do in life period. <laughs> yeah it's funny I am um, being totally honest Dating is the arena in which I question my worth the most and coming from a background of modeling um, I feel like So like maybe most women doubt themselves when it comes to their body, which I have just never ever felt but dating <sighs> Hits me in a different kind of way And I don't know whether that's from being single in London for ages and dating in a city is savage as some of you may know um but yeah, I'm definitely trying to work on my self-worth and self-value and self-validation when it comes to matters of the heart. Oh, my manager sent me a Friday toast, so I'm just going to toast to her. <laughs> She's the best! Come on. Come on, we don't have time for this. We've got a date to get to. <laughs> Oh, for goodness sake. And then the tiniest bit of blush, Fresh Faced by Iconic London. For which, for whom? I have worked with in the past, but this is not a paid ad. I just genuinely do love their cream blushes so much. Glossier Haloscope in Quartz. Gorge. Now I'm using Max Espresso with the MAC 266 Angled Brush Unrivaled just to fill in my brows and create a bit more shape. So that one's done. I need to do this one. This is my tricky one. And for my lip combo, I'm wearing Nude Beige. So beautiful. This girl that I fancy on TikTok wears it and I copied her and then uh, Iconic London, one of their clear glosses and it's just the two together, so Madison beer added a bit of jewellery this is the MS top I was talking about but see through, we don't mind and then my black, these are just so high waisted, like they are so flattering, Dr. Denim I wear a size <sighs> I'm gonna say 16, but I'll link it for sure below. I'm gonna wear my black boots with them. Just packing my bag, madam organized. This is my little, oh, this is what I take to the gym, sleepover. It's got my bits in it, just like everything I could need. Makeup remover, makeup moisturizer. Makeup moisturizer, it's a new thing. Have you not heard of it? Going in there, phone, money, keys, coat, then we're ready to go. Pokey. I think that's you and me all done. I smell good, I feel good. I'm wearing Santal 33, the unofficial fragrance of Shoreditch House and Proud. Yeah, very cool, very nice, very girlfriend material. I didn't say that. Thank you very much for watching me with my get ready with me date night. I hope you really enjoyed it. Please do subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. And thank you again for Tangle Teaser for sponsoring this video. Bye. Wish me luck. Eee.